Hey right guys, Trace Munches Joe here and today we're doing another tier list video. I'm going to probably film about four or five of these in one sitting because I want to do a few um, on camera and just, you know, upload them because <laughs> they're fun to do. I had a lot of fun with the scam kind of character video list and I made a list of ones that I could potentially do and, you know, a lot of people replied saying they wanted this one, that one, this one, that one, so... I'm going to film for about 45 minutes and then just chop these up into five separate parts. And yeah, there won't be much editing in them like there was with the scam video because I just got, I've got too many reactions to focus on editing. These are just going to kind of be bonus videos. So from this one, this one is Team Wolf. I'm going to start off with the Team Wolf character list. Two rules being... Uh, what were the two rules? I can't remember. Who cares about rules? Let's go. Alright, so this is going to be like my thoughts and what I can remember because I have finished all of Team Wolf. But sorry if I'm a bit iffy with some of the names because I did finish it like last year. So it's been a while and I do miss the show. I did really enjoy it while I watched it. But yeah, here we have God tier, Great tier, Good tier, Eh tier and Shit tier. So straight up, this geese just straight there. I thought, spoilers for Team Wolf, I'm going to probably mention spoilers for the season, so if you haven't seen Team Wolf, yeah. I thought his death was so unsatisfying. He needed to have every limb pulled from his body, and we didn't even see his death, and that's like what I just remember. I can't stand him. Go away. No bad. Just go. Jesus, such an annoying that's all I remember him just doing that every 40 seconds so now that's out of my system um <laughs> who else do we have we have Kira this Kira is that it? yeah Kira Kira's an interesting one because I did not like her for a lot of her time but it wasn't it wasn't her character I felt like she just didn't click with me personally like she's a character I look at and I'm like I couldn't stand why people like her um, towards the end I started to grow towards her, but I just, yeah, it's kind of like there, I didn't love her, <laughs> so, but she, she did start here, like I could not stand her and then she kind of went there, I guess, um, and I know a few people are going to disagree with that, but I just, I couldn't with Kira, I love the actress though, Arden Joe, I think's wonderful, so, nothing against her, it's just the character now, uh, I forgot the names, but the twins, they were okay. Um, I think in the final season they could have done a lot more with them too. Well, one of them died, so the one that survived. But they kind of didn't. Um, I don't know. I don't think they were awful. I'd say Kira was better. I'd probably put them there. I love how they're both just in one package. <laughs> just rank them as one. Um, I can't remember her name, correct if I'm wrong, but she is the villain in season six. Terrible, terrible villain did nothing her ending was pointless <laughs> just terrible i think that's her i can't remember her name though oh this guy he was in season three wasn't he he was um he died in season three i know he's got quite close to derek he was okay I, he didn't stand out though like <laughs> I, I haven't remembered even giving him a second thought until now so i'm gonna put him back here i won't say he was awful but Nothing special. Um, I want to do one of the main characters, but he, okay. I guess this. I guess he's the main character. He was. I feel like they overused his. Um, what what did they call it? The, his. Yo, I'm watching this in so long. I'll be so bad with names and everything. I do apologize. But him coming to save the day, basically, and his whole story. I think I felt like his story started off really well. And then it was just the same thing over and over again. And it got very boring very quickly. Um, I think like when he first came into it, he was around here. Then by the end of the show, I'd probably put him here. He got very boring. So yeah, I'd say the twins and actually Kira were better than him. At least Kira had development, like actual development. Uh, I can't really see this kind I think that's Kira's mum. Mm. Is she good? No, not really. <laughs> Kira's way better. I'd say this guy was better. I'd, I'd put her there. Eh, like, eh, yeah, she wasn't awful, I guess, but she wasn't that interesting. Deacon? No, not Deacon. What was his name? <laughs> I'm just going to be so bad with names. I liked him. I think he's one of the more interesting villains. Um, and then obviously turned kind of good towards the end uh, with a little bit of villainy in him. But he, he was good. 
I again thought his death was pointless in that episode. The, the episode where he trained Scott for like episode 19 or 18. I'd say he was good. He was good here. He was one of the more interesting characters. I think they, he could have been better, but he wasn't awful. Ah, Liam. Hated him when he first came into it. I could not stand him if he saw his rea saw the reactions. And I hate that they tried to make him... Uh, towards the end of the show, they just tried to make him like a secondary Scott, which I knew was the plan anyway. But it's like they swapped Scott out for him, which it shouldn't have been. It should have been like Scott was still the main character, and he was. But uh, Liam kind of overtook a lot of the stories. That was kind of annoying. But I would say he's, I'd say he was a good character. I'd say he's better than him. I wouldn't say he was great. He had great moments, and I think he was maybe great towards the end of it. I don't know. I had debate with that. He's either great or good. Uh, I know a lot of people really do love him. I'd say he was good, though. I'd say he's good. Uh, who the hell's this guy? Oh, is he the one who, season six, he was one of the villains. He kind of went a bit loopy. Yeah, you were trash. No offense. I mean, you were better than these two, but you're still pretty bad. Um, sorry, if I have to look, it's because the, the, some of the images are quite dark. I can't really tell. Scott's mom, Melissa? Melissa? I liked her. I'm going to put her in the good tier. I'd say it wasn't as good. I'd say the first few seasons, she was... Actually, I don't know. Like, she was a good mum in the first few seasons, and then when she started to know what was going on, she got a bit more of a story, but... I wouldn't say she, I wouldn't say she did anything spectacular. I don't know. I'd say she was good. Yeah. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say she's as good as him, but better than him. Ah, the teacher. Again, I if you're going from seasons one, two, and three, he's like here. Or maybe maybe here, realistically. He was hilarious. He actually made me laugh. Um, and then he, then, then he did nothing. <laughs> then he just disappeared, and when he was in it, he was kind of trash, apart from a couple of scenes. So I'd probably put him here, realistically. Like, as an actual character, he didn't really do much, but he was, he was funny. Oh, Theo, dude. Yo, it's so weird seeing remembering him from that because when I reacted to the episodes he was in, I hated him in like Parade or Lies because I was reacting to that as well. Um, and now I really like, I like him. That was what I say, Mike. Yeah, Mike in Parade or Lies. I really like him in that now. And Theo in season six was sick. I'm not going to lie. If I was going from when he first came into it, he'd probably be like here. But honestly, towards the end, uh, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to put these two in great tier, because they're, they're both great. Because I'm looking at like how they were in season six, and those two and like their dynamic together. I completely forgot about that, their little bromance going on. I actually love that. So I'm going to put them both up here for now. Um, Mason. I did not like Mason. He wasn't shit, but he was definitely... Eh. I'd say Kira was honestly better. Um, Kira annoyed me more than Mason, but Mason just did i'd say the twins were better than him actually to be honest the twins are more interesting than him uh yeah he just never interested me to be honest who's that oh yeah, yeah the assassin who got with derek she she was really good in season four was it four she was in when she was with derek i liked her then she went off the map and did nothing um i'd say she was like here she could she had the potential to be here if she was in the show for the amount of time she should have been in it but no uh, Scott's dad, uh, I wouldn't say he was shit, but I wouldn't say he was that interesting. I'd say maybe there. I would put him there, but he had quite a few good scenes with Scott. So I'm going to put him there. Um, if you can hear like a chainsaw in the back, can you hear that? Like I can hear it, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, oh god, she, she was annoying, then she was alright. And then she did nothing. Uh, she's a tricky one. I'd say maybe here. Like she stuck. There was a time in the show where she was probably good, but towards the end, no, absolutely not. Uh, oh God, I forgot about her. Jesus, what an annoying cretin. Go there, straight shit, terrible. Hated her. Absolutely could not stand it. Every time a line of dialogue came out, came out of Kate's mouth, oh, I wanted to bash my head against the desk. 
not as annoying as him. God, it just piss off. He pissed me off, but she was awful as well. God, I see Cora. I see Cora. I didn't even know Cora was on this list till now. Oh, okay. Um, I forgot his name, but he was like the villain in season six A. Uh, he was one of the. He was an all right villain. I wouldn't say he was that interesting though. I'd probably put him maybe. Probably here. It's just like, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to say first God tier character. I loved him. He was, J.R. Bourne nailed the role and now seeing him in the 100 reminds me of so much of why I loved him. There was a time in the show where he kind of dipped out and then just came in for a bit and dipped back. But every time he was on screen, I loved him. Um, his development as well and his relationship with Scott in particular, I thought was one of the best relationships in the entire show. God tier character, he was sick, straight up. Um, oh, again, I'm gonna get rid of this character because I don't want her to be the last one I talk about because I honestly don't even know who this is. Who is this? Who is this character? She looks like a doctor or something. Oh, is that um, is that Alison's mom? Oh God, I think so. I, I uh. I get, we'll just say it is. I'll put you there. No, not there. There. Go in between. No! Ah! <laughs> there. Uh, yes, you were fine. Not, re not really. You were terrible. <laughs> um, are all these main characters now? I think they're all pretty much... Oh, no. Who's this kid? I want to get rid of all the irrelevant... He was the one who went crazy. Um, yeah, he had a bit more to do than him, but he was still, he was still shit. Uh, I think that's... I mean, yeah, he was... I've got the actor's name. What was the actor's name? I, I I know the actor's name. That's annoying. I think these are all main characters now. Oh no, this little worm. Um, <laughs> oh, what was his name? Mason's boyfriend. Uh, Corey. What is maybe? Sorry, it's been a while. It's been a while with the names. I should have a list of the names next to me, but I do know who they are. Uh, he was again. I'd put actually put him below. Uh, uh, maybe there. Yeah, very I had moments, but overall didn't really do much of interest for me. All right, let's get another god tier in there. Um, you know what? I'm gonna put Scott McCall in god tier. Not as good as J. L. Bourne, but Scott. He season one and two. I couldn't stand Scott. I thought he was most annoying, whiny little. You know what it was? As soon as he came like Alpha or whatever. He was sick, and then season four, five, and six, with some mishaps, he nailed it, and uh, I, I don't know. I think if I was going from seasons one and two, I would genuinely put him, like, here or something, but by the end of the show, I thought he was god tier. I loved him, um, which was surprising for me because I genuinely thought I'd never get to a point where I would love Scott McCall, but I do. Uh, so, yeah. Who's this, geese? Oh, yeah, yeah. What's his name? <laughs> Fuck, we're so bad with the names. Uh, Derek's like uncle, I don't know, but yeah, he popped in and out here and there. I liked him. Um, I think they could have done a bit more with him towards the end of his arc. But I'd say he was probably here. Like there. He's definitely better than him. Better than Alice, no, Alice and Melissa. Better than Melissa. Hey. That's a tricky one. I feel like they're both fairly even, but I, I'll leave them there. I think I do really like Melissa. I'm hoping Melissa is her name. Uh, ah, the the dude, <laughs> the guy who knows everything, the veterinar veterinarian, veterinarian, vegetarian, the vegetarian. Uh, I liked him. I think he's I think he's really good. I'd put him again. He kind of dipped out of the show for a while. I'm guessing that's because he was filming The Walking Dead, or I, I don't know. But I'd put him. Probably here. He just he was just always cool. He just always knew shit. And he never he never annoyed me, but and at the same time they never overused his character. Like he always came in at exactly the right moment, which I liked about him. So I'm gonna put him there. Alison, alright. She was a tricky one because when I was reacting to it, I don't feel like I appreciated Alison. Like I, I always liked her, but I, I liked her and then as soon as she died after season three I missed her so much. God tier. Not as good as Scott, but God tier. 
straight up, I, I missed her when she went, and then it made me appreciate her character so much more. Uh, her death was very well done. I do think her death was well done, but I think she could have done more as a character as well. Um, I miss her, dude. I missed her. Like, she was fantastic. So, rest in peace, Alison, dude. Uh, you know, I forgot his name. <laughs> Dylan O'Brien's dad. <laughs> what was his name? Fuck. Oh, why am I so bad with these? Um, he annoyed me sometimes, but he wasn't a bad character. I'd probably put him maybe here. Nope. There. Go back. Back there. Yeah. He had... He had some good moments with style. Stalinsky. 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 It's Sheriff Stalinsky, I feel like they just called him that. Sheriff. But yeah, they had... He had good moments with Styles, but... As a character, when he was by himself, he annoyed me a lot of the time. But he wasn't a bad character. He definitely had a lot to do, so... I'd put him in the good tier. Uh, Derek. Hmm. Ah, that's a tricky one, because, again, from season four onwards, he disappeared and did nothing. And then when he came back into it in the finale, he did nothing, and I really wanted him to do a lot, and he didn't. But for the time he was on it, I'd put him in the great tier. Uh, he's definitely better than th he's definitely better than both of those actually. I'd put him there. I wouldn't say he's god tier, but he's better than these two, so I'm gonna put him in great tier. Um, why have I forgot his name? Jackson. Oh yeah, Jackson. Yes, I got one. Woo, Jackson. Hmm. Hated him. Liked him. Disappeared and did nothing. Came back. Loved him. So I'm gonna put him, especially for the development that he had as well. Again, I feel like they could have done a lot more with him when he came back into it. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but him and Style, uh, him and Scott, sorry, didn't even have a moment at the end, which I was expecting. So that was very disappointing. That's more to do with the writing though, and not his character. So I'm gonna put him there. I think he had the potential to be in the great tier, but they, he just kind of didn't do much at all. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this skis. Uh Alison's boyfriend for a little bit. Uh, he was good. I'd put him here. He was fine. I know a lot of people love him, so I am sorry that he's not in like the great tier or something. But actually, I'd say he's better than... I'm going to swap those two around because I think the assassin was pretty cool. And I'm going to put him better than the teacher because as a character, the teacher obviously didn't really do much. He just made me laugh. He had a few moments, but yeah, I'd say that's about right. All right, honestly, okay, Cora's going to be a controversial one because I know, oh, I'm going to be so biased because it's Adelaide Kane. Fuck. Okay, you know what? If It hurts me to do it. I was straight up going to just throw it into God tier, like straight up. But if I'm being honest with her character, I'm still going to be like slightly biased and put her in the great tier, but probably like down here because the character herself, when she was in it, I loved her. I thought she was such an interesting character. Again, putting aside the bias for the fact that it was Adelaide King, I genuinely loved her character and I think they could have done so much with her. Like, she got cast for Rain, so it's kind of unfortunate because um, I know they had plans to do a lot with her and Styles, but. And obviously, this, correct if I'm wrong, I don't know if this is fact, but then they swapped her out for Malia. Um, but yeah, I'd still put her in great tier just for the. She was sick. I loved her. Uh, we'll do Malia. She was... Hmm. I'm gonna... Not as good as Alison, honestly. Ah, uh, actually, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let me think about this. A lot of people don't like Malia because she stole Styles away from Lydia, but I loved Styles and Malia. Like, when I look back at season four, their relationship was sick. So straight up, actually, as a character going in gold tier. She had a couple of annoying moments, but I, I just loved her. And I guess spoiler alert for these two, but I think it's fairly obvious where they're going. Styles is the best character in the show, so he's going in God tier. And Lydia is just fantastic. I'd say she's better than Malira's character, better than Alison. Better than Scott, yes. But I still would wouldn't put her up with that with J.R. Bourne's character. I'd say she's probably there, honestly, which is still my third favourite character. Like, I know everyone's like, oh, she's not the best character. She's not the best character for me, but she's... She's fantastic, like she's in God tier. Um, 
I'd say that's about right, to be fair. I think I'm pretty happy with that list. Uh, Kira, Kira, again, I would have put her in the shit tier, but she she won me over in a few scenes, and she was all right towards the end. Still, it's still in the F tier, though. <laughs> I feel, it feels bad, but because I do love the actress, but yeah. There we go, guys. That is the Teen Wolf tier list video. I'm going to jump on to Pretty Double Lies now, which, again, if you're watching this today, I'm going to do two a week. They aren't going to be edited. So yeah, on to Pretty Little Lies, let's go. Cool.